It is February 1st and I am starting off today with a workout. My legs are incredibly sore, <laughs> but today we're doing arms and abs, so it should be okay. Um, but I'm also gonna do some stretches at the end, so yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's raining. I'm so surprised because this is February and it usually doesn't rain in February in Colorado. So it just feels like the rain followed me from the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> I was so shocked. So it is a Friday night and I've actually been reading my book, um, Single On Purpose. There are definitely a few things that I have really, really loved in this book and I bookmarked it for each spot. But one of them that I wanted to share was this line. I'm on the chapter, um, I'm on page 125, I should say. There's no chapters in this book, so. But I love this line that it says, if you don't grieve the death of a relationship and allow yourself to feel everything you have lost, but instead just push it down, you will cope in other ways. If not with sex, drugs, or food, then maybe by jumping from relationship to relationship. Whatever you haven't grieved is the virus you will carry into all of them. Which I thought was very powerful because I definitely agree with that. I mean, not just from my own experience of dating and having my fair share of meeting guys that literally just got out of a relationship and they're already ready to get into another relationship, um, which, you know, to each their own. I think everyone has their own ways of coping, but at least for me, I personally don't feel like that works for me. Like, I feel like it's just not fair to the other person. Because I know, for me, I wouldn't want... I wouldn't want that, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> um, but that's just me, as I said. Alrighty, guys. So I thought I would show you what I got for Valentine's for a few of my friends. This is the first one. We got a box of tea stress ball and a magnet and these big paper clips since she does work from home I thought this would be really cute I even wrote her a card give me one moment as I pull it out it's the card that I got her so freaking cute I knew I had to get it this is the second one more cuter we have a bag um some oh I should put it the other way some clips and a baby Yoda because I thought it'd be really fitting for her and then I also got a box of chocolate some wine and then two other cards that I have to fill out as well too and this is corgi inside and then the other one I love this one I pull it out it just says happy valentine's day and then you are loved. Ah, if it'll focus. <laughs> but yeah, these are the little gifts that I got my girlfriends for Galentine's. I'm excited for them to see all this. You guys, I had to share this bowl that I'm eating at the moment. So it kind of looks not the best presented, but I made some shrimp, stir fried some butter with it, and um, was it garlic powder, black pepper, and then I added in some avocado, some lime juice, alfalfa, and cilantro, and my lord, it is bomb. 
bomb honestly <laughs> so I had to share that and then of course I'm just watching Whaley as usual she's one of my favorite youtubers so enjoying my lunch uh first things first I dyed my hair it is a purple now kind of like a dark plummy purple and I seriously love this change so much um I feel like I've been ready uh for a change like this I knew I wanted to do something with my hair I just didn't fully decide just yet until um, the beginning of this week. So I'm really happy with this new change. The next thing that I wanted to update is that I actually wound up getting a, another interview opportunity. So right now I'm in the books for two um, interview opportunities and I just... I feel like I can't express how grateful and how happy I am with both of these two because it just, I definitely felt the effects of applying to a job in 2023 and it was not easy um, trying to apply for something and then now going into this new year in 2024, it just feels so nice to be able to hear from recruiters back. So... That's why I wanted to update and I will definitely keep showing you guys more stuff in the month of February because there is a lot happening in February. So I just finished writing a few, um, last few of my Valentine's card, or Galentine's cards, I should say. Um, and I thought I would show you guys, because I, I, I don't know about you guys, but I am this type of person that writes this much um, in a card. <laughs> just because I have so much appreciation and love to express um, to my loved ones um and I just thought it was so cute since like I put like these little stickers on the back too and I'm just gonna show this one um this is the type of person that I am <laughs> I love writing uh cards to people especially to those who matter to me but yeah like this is really setting the vibes of um Valentine's Day for me I guess um it's a little different since I know the past two years um I would be celebrating um my I guess with the person that I was in a relationship with and I guess this time with being single I don't feel as sad um which you know I think that's a really really good thing I think because this time I you know, I'm not spending it alone tomorrow, actually. I'm actually having tea time uh, with one of my girlfriends, which I'm really excited about. And also just, I don't know, I think like just doing things for myself um, with being single to not feel as, I guess, left out or anything like that. I mean, I personally don't, um, but it does help to just do these little things with like getting Galentine's gifts um, for my girlfriends and even making plans to, you know, meet up with a girlfriend as well too. I feel like that really helps um, just, you know, not feel as extremely left out and also that, you know, I can celebrate being single as well too, <laughs> even if it's Valentine's Day by showing love to, you know, the people that are important to me and also even showing myself love Just as well. finish um filming a makeup tutorial um if you're watching this vlog you're probably already gonna have already <laughs> um seen it if anything but i thought i would just give you guys a little update since i haven't really said much within my vlog um as you saw in the previous one where i was just like dancing around um it is just one last shaking off my nerves since i finished my third round of interview um, I felt extremely, I wasn't, what's the word? I felt really good about it. I wasn't nervous, but a part of me is wondering like, hmm, I wonder <laughs> still. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket since just in case, you never know. I'm just trying to 
be realistic, not negative, but realistic. So that's that. But other than that, um, life has been pretty good. Like, um, I've been doing really well with just, you know, maintaining my workout routine as well as eating good and also about to finish both of my books as well. So that's pretty much about it for my life updates. I also got myself some roses uh, yesterday at Trader Joe's and I freaking love these because I mean honestly I don't need a guy to buy me flowers like I'll just buy them for myself <laughs> because I really do love flowers and I think it's also a great time especially for we all know it's Valentine's Day tomorrow so it's to show extra love and care for myself as well and why not spoil myself and make myself happy even with the littlest things? I hope that, you know, gives you guys a little, you know, idea as well too of just not being afraid to do little things for yourself too because you deserve it as well. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm driving, so if I'm not looking at the uh, at, at this view, <laughs> I'm just paying attention on what's in front of me. But yeah, um, I haven't updated in a while, but um, I just wanted to say that things have been really great. I've just mainly been focused on uh, my job interviews, and amazingly, I actually got a job offer, so I'm really, really excited. I don't start until March, but... I am still very, very grateful that I actually got something and this is something that I feel like I can definitely see myself growing into. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, and then what else happened? For Valentine's, I went to a, uh, I went to tea time with one of my cousins and now I am currently picking up another cousin and we are gonna have a night out for Galentine's round two. Uh, we're gonna go do some sipping and painting and also get dinner and we might head out to the bars we will see <laughs> but I'm really excited for tonight so that's that Hello guys, so I kind of just wanted to uh, hop in just to pretty much do a uh, check-in and slash update with you guys. I pretty much just got back from the gym recently and I'm so proud of myself because usually, um, so when it's that time of the month and it is that time of the month, I normally don't have the energy to go work out. I'm very much like... I'm bloated, I'm cramping, I'm in pain, and I'm usually very fatigued and have very low energy. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself and pretty happy that um, today I had the energy to just go for it. Um, I didn't go extremely hard like I normally would, but definitely enough where I am still, you know, my heart is still pumping pretty good and sweating a little bit as well too. So it makes me feel very very proud of myself uh for going as well but other than that I just feel like I don't know like this time almost just feels like everything is just slowing down again for me just because you know like as I mentioned before I got my job offer and now I'm in the process of you know just getting things um with onboarding and the background check so I'm kind of just you know in the limbo of waiting for them <laughs> and on top it's like well I don't really need to look at you know any more job hunting at the moment and I finished both of my books as well too which I'm proud because now I have read three books within 2024 in the span of two months <laughs> which is kind of insane but honestly I think it's freaking awesome too because I've I haven't done um, this much reading since, I feel like since college, but both of them were fantastic. I totally recommend them. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on any self-help books, as well as, you know, books about heartbreak <laughs> and love stories, I guess, uh, please feel free to recommend them to me because I that's, that's my cup of tea. Um, but yeah, like I feel like this feels very odd that now I have the time to just kind of relax and chill before um, 
you know, I get the ball rolling with my new job. Um, in the meantime, I feel like I definitely want to read another book um, before I start working. And I definitely feel like I will start making more videos, if anything, um, more so on my free time. That is not to say that I will, well, I'm not going to put that slot on myself <laughs> at the moment, but I definitely want to put in um, the effort to making more videos, if anything, just because I know there's definitely a lot of ideas that I have uh, for what I want to do and what I want to showcase as well, too. So that's probably what I'll be doing <laughs> with uh, all my time, I guess. And I'm also excited that like one of my friends is actually coming to Colorado this weekend. So I'm really, really excited to see her soon and just spend time with her and end on February on a great note, <laughs> just hanging out with her. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, I almost feel like, you know, with this brown hair, which I freaking love, um, I almost feel like it's like the end of an era for me. It's not just with my hair color. Um, hence, you know, if you have watched my old videos, um, you know that I, I used to dive to be blonde. Um, and don't get me wrong, I loved it. I loved it a lot. But now I just feel like this is like my brownie era <laughs> where I kind of just, I just want to have brown hair instead, which is totally okay. And I'm, I'm not just saying for hair wise, but I even also feel it with who I am becoming and how far I have gone as well. And all the things that have changed about me and, you know, the things bigger things that I want within my life and things that I no longer want <laughs> anymore um versus like when I first started filming uh videos like when I was 23 or being 25 so I think that's like crazy to think that you know but you know change is a really good thing that means I'm evolving I am growing and I think another bigger part is how much I am happy that I have been a lot happier these days and you know it does make me feel a lot happy that I am doing the right thing it makes me feel like I am going in the right direction with all the opportunities that has opened up for me which as I said I'm very grateful for so yeah that's that um that's my little update and I just wanted to pretty much, you know, give you guys an update. Hope you enjoyed the little mini ramble, but of course there will be more before February ends. <laughs>
I really felt like this month was truly, um, truly wonderful, honestly. Uh, I definitely feel like I'm doing a lot better than, than I had actually anticipated. So, but yeah, that was pretty much it, um, to February. Like, I can't believe that I pretty much killed two books in one month. Um, I have been extremely consistent with my workout routine as well too, which I'm very, very proud of because, um... I am literally meeting my uh, workout goals that I have had for myself and on top I just feel like I'm just in a lot better headspace with not just even journaling and doing breathing exercises um, and working out and of course reading as well but really just putting my life back together honestly. I've been having such a great time going out with my family as well too and seeing my friends I truly just feel like um, I'm coming back to life again honestly and I can't wait to share more of what is you know in store for me for next I month. I'm about to head out to dinner with one of my cousins so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll see you in the next one bye